friends welcome to my channel today I'm going to make another vegetarian dish chickpeas with mushrooms and pak choy Chinese call it bok choy well it's pak choy I'm just going to use a few leaves of the pak choy I hope you like this video you will subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think so let's do it so I'm going to um, pressure my chickpeas and this is one pound of chickpeas that I had soaked overnight. I won't be using all of this today. I'm just going to use some of it and the remaining I'm going to put in a Ziploc and put it in my freezer to make another dish some other day. In this pot I'm just going to go ahead and put the chickpeas. I had it soaked, washed and drained. I'm going to add some hot water half a teaspoon of salt and I'm going to cover my, my pot and put it on the stove. In this pot I'm going to add two tablespoons of canola oil. I'm going to fry the onions first. I'm going to push this to the side and I'm going to fry my tomatoes. I cook the tomatoes for about two minutes just to release the sugar. And I'm now going to add my peppers. I'm using half of a green chili pepper. This is one of the long ones. And I added the garlic, two, two cloves of garlic, and um, one inch of ginger. And just let this saute for a little. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of Madras curry powder. And if you've seen my video, you know that I made this curry powder. I'll just give it a stir. I just need the curry powder to fry up for at least three minutes. Now I'm going to add two cups of the chickpeas that I pressured. Give it a stir. I'm going to add the mushrooms. I have three medium-sized mushrooms, portobello. And I have the stems from the, the bok choy or pak choy, whatever you want to call it. Just add that in also. And I'm going to add the water from the chickpeas. About one and a half cups. And I'll give it a stir. Now oh, this looks pretty good. I'm going to add some dry thyme leaves. Some oregano. A little bit of basil, some paprika, and some black pepper. Okay, I'll give it a stir. Now I need to taste to see if I have enough salt. And I need to add a little bit of salt. So I'm just going to add about a half a teaspoon. I'm also going to add some green onions and some parsley. Now I'm going to cover this 
and let it cook for five minutes. So it's been about five minutes and I want to check the chickpeas. Oh wow, this looks very nice. So I'm going to go ahead now and take this down because I still need to have some gravy in the chickpeas to eat my roti. So this is finished. This is very nice. Chickpeas and mushroom curry. And I'm going to taste this dish for you. This is very nice. The chickpeas is well cooked and so is the mushroom. The mushroom is not overcooked. And I really like this dish. And I like that the uh, that the chickpeas is still whole, it's not mushed up. I hope you like this dish. I know it's different. I hope you will try it. And again, I want to thank you so much for watching this video.